My name is Jill. I'm one of Tim's favoured Friday ladies. <laughs> I'm Pauline and I'm part of the Friday Ladies, have been for the last, you know, 30 years. My name is Julie and I'm one of uh, Tim's Friday Ladies. We meet every Friday because we all have the same appointments week in, week out. When you see someone every week and you've seen them every week for 20 plus years, they become like family. I mean, I've seen some of them through husbands dying, cancer, illness, you know, real tragedy in their lives. So if, if I feel I've given them something back and it's cheered their day up, then I'm doing my job really well. Well, I haven't seen you for two weeks. I've I started going to a salon that he was working at and he started doing my hair, which has got to be 20 years ago. <laughs> and um, I've followed him ever since. I think I'll be coming when I'm in a wheelchair, probably or someone's pushing me. Well, hopefully, anyway, because there's one thing I've always wanted to keep is my hair and my teeth, really. Apart from, because what's the use of, you know, getting dressed up if you've got no hair or teeth? No. <laughs> These girls have been a support to me throughout my career. Um, they've followed me from pillar to post, from one salon to another. Wherever I've worked, they've come to me every Friday religiously. So they haven't supported me just in the last 18 months. They've supported me for the last 25 years. So I adore them, yeah. You know, you're welcomed and made to feel special. Because after all, that's why you come to the hairdressers, isn't it? Because you want to feel special when you walk out, you know, think, great. You know, here we go for another week. I hope that they, they go away feeling 20 times better than what they did when they came in. Not just physically, but mentally. Definitely for me. There are times when you feel low or things happen, problems arise. And I can sometimes feel low when I come in. But when I've had my head and another had a chat, I don't feel low going out. You know, it seems to raise my spirits. Uh, five years ago, he was brilliant because I went through chemo and lost all my hair. So he was brilliant with me because I used to still come in on a Friday because I didn't want my routine to change. Hairdressing is just a very small part of what I do. In, 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 that's what I feel with my clients anyway. We love him and I'm sure he loves us so they were a pain in the bum sometimes. <laughs> I think at the start of the pandemic, it really impacted me um, mentally and physically because I wasn't sleeping on a the night. There was times that you were kind of thinking, well, how is this going to work? You know, how can a business survive for even two weeks without cash flow coming through the doors? That kind of level of stress lies heavy on you on a night. And there's girls here who've got babies and mortgages. So for me, it was paramount that they were looked after and that they felt protected, even though sometimes I didn't know the answers myself. I even went to the doctor because I felt sort of a bit bereft because I live on my own. My husband died. And this is so much part of my life on a Friday that, you know, it was, it, it had quite a profound effect on me. It re I really felt a bit lost. And I think Tim felt it in as much the same way, you know, he, he wasn't working, obviously, he couldn't see anyone. It, it just makes you feel quite lonely, I think. I was planning the salon in my garage at home on numerous occasions because I just thought, I can't see how I'm ever going to be able to get the business back to where it was and up and running. The first time I went back to the salon and saw Tim, it was just going back to old times, going back 12 months really. I thought, oh, we're almost back to normal. I think we've got to continue to live our lives and not just lose it all because of the virus, you know, because we've lost so much, shops, everything, you know, I mean, I'm not going to like the world we're going to live in if that happens. The salon is a safe place and we're all 
completely clued up on how to keep you safe and we're coming to the tail end of this now so you know my my advice to anyone or my request to you all would be if you love your hairdresser get back in the salon more often because we need you as well definitely get out there support your local hairdressers and shops